But that's only if, it, if they can get into the back line. So I think a lot of pressure is on the Chen and Rubik to really establish dominance with yeah. movement across the map. Uh, and this will enable the Batrider to get the initiation. I don't think the Batrider can be the scout in this game. He'll be okay in the early game as well, though. I mean, against, like, Pugna Underlord, they don't have the best disables. He can chase people down. Hello, DK. There's a DK. I think DK's a really good pick here. The damage on Vega Squadron's a bit weak, so if he can be survivable in the mid lane, then... They are gonna do it. ...for KP. Three sticky napalm charges. He's only got the one point off in the Atrophy Aura, so there's no stuns to give him the distance. So all they have to do is just keep stacking him up with sticky napalm, and then Slayer, when the time is right, will pick him up and drag yeah. him back. Still Six to key napalm charges now. He's and well, too early. there's your pick up, throw him back down again. And they have enough. One more attack from, B from Busy will do it. And that yeah. is first blood on the top lane. Not what KP wanted to have happen. So the, the breathe fire spam is going to begin in mid. And this is going to be a little bit more problem for Undershock because he's going to have to commit his time walk every time that happens just to keep his life up. I keep the advantage. Karka's had enough of this bloody, like, uh, this hell bear smasher on yeah. the bottom lane. Slayer wants to go, because they've used the fire strike, so the stun is now gone. Muki has to get a good blast, able to do so. Slayer, cold feet, tries to run away. They've already got the kill onto Karka, but that slow damage into the Chen. He'll get the wild wing up and running, and this can do a bit of a body block, or just tornado straight away, allowing the rocket barrage damage to go into Faith. Nugi kept the chase up on the two supports, so Chen does fall a one-for-one -one trade off. I definitely agree that that's going to change things a bit, because now they can get kills with their supports, whereas before it was like, yes, A does some damage and some disable, but it's not enough to be overwhelming. But with Ice Blast, one stun, and that should be a kill. Raining the scanning, looking for a target. They Vega void, do have sure. multiple heroes on the bottom. Their observer was nearby. Void actually triggers it. They fire a strike on the other side. The Ice Blast is perfect, and... Oh, you said they wanted him. They got him. Yep. And the Observer Ward watches Chen go into the trees. They're not going to fight him, however, because they don't know where the rest of Vega is. I can tell you where they are. Three men smoke up, heading bottom. Looks like he's and now Dai is scanning almost exactly the same position, looking for an opening. He's Wait, rushing. Is he? Okay, the TP. Good time. They thought it was only a Wildkin. Little did they know. Batrider, blink, nice throw. He managed to catch a CCC, but then the pit tries to turn the fight around with a fire strike forward. KP wants to take everybody home. Ended up being a 1-1 one, one oh, trade off the Virus Strike. Oh, yeah, he cancels. They want to keep buying this one. Slayer will drop the Crepify Cold Feet. Jarakup can't run away from this one. He takes the damage from the Blast. Oh, Chen! Ooh. Sends him back home. Faceless Boy will even deny the tower. He yeah, is pretty focused on it being either like Batrider or Void. And Void is very limited by... I mean, both are very limited by cooldown, so... Well, prepare yourself for Newbie. Coming in between their Tier 1 and Tier 2 tower, they have smoke available, and this will be the blink reveal from Kaka. So it just arrived 14, 15 go, minutes yeah, into the game. Bat, mid. And yep, Ice Blast out. Goodbye, Batrider. He's closest here on the map. Why not kill him, right? I mean, his, his farm level is actually good. Worthwhile getting that kill. The other reason, too, is the Observer was down inside the Radiant Jungle. So they are ready to fight down here, too. They don't have Epicenter from Kaka. He actually went for a 4 2 1 build. But SCCC, under the cover of Shadowblade, revealed this item. And Chen, well, he's got Glimmer Cape, but he cannot get it off in time. But everyone else starts their TPs out and goes back in the fountain. Oh, okay. could Yeah. Somebody's going to use those. They can make a difference. Though. It's actually feels good to use one like mid game when you're like 30% HP. You're like, I'm going back into the fight. That rider blinks by so it's on to Underlord, however. He's able to get the pin on pit down. It's actually the one from the Rubik, too. So Underlord being massively stunned. 14 okay, one shots to Balmore. They're going to fight this. Yes, they will. The Ice Blast is coming in. It'll connect on the Rubik. But it was Karka's epicenter damage. They really start to turn this around. Necro off. Oh, defensive Kurno. Yeah. And he still can't get it with the blast. The Necro blast from Pugna. Firestorm and Fade Bolt is now back up again. The pipe just got expended. He can at least kill off the creep wave, but... You know they want to jump. Oh, behind. Gyro. KP's going to see him. Carcass just got to blink and borrow. And then they can initiate, but they're split up. Here comes your Ice Blast. It does not connect on the Gyro. And the Chrono Spear. He got Ancient Apparition, but will it be enough? You've got KP tanking the entire thing. It's a four man Rudolph. SCCC. He's running through the back line. He just wants to kill the Chen. Get rid of this extra heal. KP's ulti. No way no he gets way. out of this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no way. He actually does go down. But there's trouble for the Gyrocopter. He's the big defense. SEC is there, the cold feet on the gyrocopter, not, not, not much more to fight with. And Undershot, the dust reveal, the fire strike as well. They'll just drain Faceless Void, he'll jump up the hill and try and get away. Yeah, steal, you steal some life on the way out. Uh, to the RNG, or uh, at least whatever mindset is affecting Vega with their sentry ward placement. They don't oh, find any of these in there, they got both of them. 
The Fable says Slay is to help out with Zone Virus Strike. Sandstorm protects him for a moment, but then Gyrocopter, he's trapped, and they start draining him. The BKB, one more attack will do it. He's so low. Faces Boy went back in again, but to Crepify Blast, you could say goodbye as a 1 1 trade off. Well. SEC did burn the BKB, but they won't care. They're gonna go straight up mid. Crimson and Pipe being burned. This will be mid racks. Oh, there's a sentry, okay. They have Blink Lasso. Actually, they can do this. Chrono is available. I mean, Faceless Voice, they have the Magic Blink Jump, and now they have to control SECC. They don't do so. The Rubik will drop down. He's trying to kill the Ancient Apparition under Shock Faith. He's got the space to cover by Dream Blast. No! He had one job. He wanted the Ancient Apparition and to keep the rest of them occupied. But without the DK and the Chrono, the damage was there for Nubi to fight in the front lines under the tier 4 tower. And Void goes down. No Chrono, no Void for 40 seconds. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. He chose the wrong target. He started on the, the Pug now. He realized, oh, he's got an Aegis. Let's change targets. And he, then he was one, one extra hit. hit. If he just went straight for the A, it would have been a kill. And probably he would have lived. They're looking for the kill onto, what, AA again? Barra Strike catching the Chen. Mugi wants to let one more blast go. That'll kill off the tier 3 tower. Aegis is still there for the moment, and it will proc. But SCCC underneath the Sentry Ward. He has no invisible. Burns the BKB up once more. Mugi starts his run now. Lizzie just trying to slow him down. Mugi starts the drain. Needs more life available. SCC keeps on the back lines, but here comes your representative from Karka. Into Slayer. Gets a revenge kill to the death of their partner. But SK just can't survive long enough. Even SCC getting hit by that flame break. A lot of dot damage. Extra help is there with the time dilation, but they can't see him. Where's the reveal? They don't know where to go right now. SCC just wants to weigh out this one. He's done no. Uses the one charge, gets a kill onto the Chen. I don't know if he can continue to survive this one. His, oh, his Shadow Blades in 12 seconds time. The homing missile will chase him down. He will fall. I'm going to say that was kill. not worth it. <laughs> Out of tower on their bottom lane. But the issue you're going to be... Actually, you got the Ancient Army from Chen that can keep the mid lane at bay. You have to bring it in for the fight because they're going to need their Granite Golem. Undershock's waiting for the jump. There's a Sentry Ward down, so we cannot use the Shadow Blade to get in close. And Very here comes Kaka, under the Observer Ward. Blizzy again can see him. Into the Firefly, gets the lasso over Romugi. A huge target if they can kill him off. But that hit from KP, right in the money. Ice Blast will only have this real chill effect. And KP, he's trying to get out, but it will not work. And he doesn't have enough life and didn't have his ultimate, but here comes your epicenter. And the Chrono Spear, but the Epi damage still continues to pulse out from the Sand King. Time walk away, get yep. out of this fight. They need to. They're splitting all ways, Baker, but Rapier. too many ways. The Rapier is down, and that's probably the game. Karko's now got plus 330 damage. Why not? Slayer will do his TP, but no. Barra strikes there from Karka. Vega are all pushing up the daisies, and that is probably the game right there. And on discs and were GG, way too good. In fact, there, it is. That's the game. It was so hard for Vega to win at that point. Like the the rapier was definitely a threat. The chrono is a threat. But Nubi just keeps building all these aether line or all these uh what's it called aeon discs. Yep. And then it just completely counters Batrider. Batrider's countered. Chrono sphere is countered. Just the overwhelming gold advantage from Nubi gives them a.